This right here is a 2020 General Four Seater Deluxe. If you've been watching the show this season, you already know that. But what you probably don't know is that Luke's planning on taking his family on a camping trip with it, and I've got a few parts and pieces that are really gonna make their camping trip a whole lot more fun. Do you really need to add anything to the General Deluxe? <laughs> no, it's pretty fully loaded from the factory. But I wanted to give my nieces a little something special to keep them comfy and make sure that Luke is ready for whatever his camping adventures throw his way. So with the help of Polaris and their incredible accessory lineup, I'll be able to turn our General Four Seater into the ultimate expedition rig. No, not gonna get into chopping, cutting, and welding, but parts that you can feel comfortable installing yourself right at home. Or if you're not feeling up to the task, your local Polaris dealer can not only order your parts in for you, but also install them. First thing I'm gonna be doing is installing something that I've never installed before, but I've always wanted to try, and that's a heater kit. The heater kit that I will be installing is from Polaris, and it's a one-stop shop, meaning that I don't need anything else, and everything is already pre-marked for where I need to drill or cut, but it's a bit of a time-consuming task. While it's still pretty warm here at Dirtrex headquarters, the mornings and likewise evenings are cold. And when riding with young ones or a wife, we all know a little heat can go a long ways in keeping them content. I'm also planning ahead for the winter months as the general is just as much work as it is play and it's gonna come in handy when needing to move snow. This complete defrost and heater kit comes with two defrost vents, two floor vents and four passenger vents so you can get the heat where you need it. You can also choose to use the three speed fan to circulate air when you don't want heat by using the adjustable temp dial. Install of the heater is pulse bar ready and the cutouts are all pre-marked. Plumbing is directly into the General's cooling system and it comes with the proper T-fittings to link up. You will need to cut some coolant hoses, so be ready to recover the coolant that will leak and also have some fresh 50-50 premix on hand. Now there's a lot to remove to make this heater kit go in, but not surprisingly, Polaris has made it super simple of an install. So simple, in fact, that I wouldn't even hesitate to suggest to you that you give it a try at home as long as you're relatively handy in the garage. You'll feel a little strange cutting into the plastic. It's a bit unnerving the first time, but when you can visually see the marked and recessed areas that coincide with the instructions, you'll know it's the right spot. While this will take you somewhere around four hours to complete, I was able to get the job done in much less than that and didn't struggle with any areas in particular. The finished product looks great, seems like it's right from the factory and blows out air with impressive force. I think the kiddos will really appreciate this on those early morning rides or late evening and nighttime adventures. Now a heater is a great comfort feature, but without a windshield, well, it's kind of a total loss. So that is my next accessory. Polaris's lock and ride windshields are so easy, it's like falling down to install them. This fully vented poly windshield has the added features of two vents, allowing for airflow when it's warm out, and then also keeping the wind out with the heater on. There's a full seal around the windshield, so it meshes up with the roll bar perfectly. Not only will this help keep the heat in and likewise allow for airflow, but if Luke gets into some gnarly tight treat in trails or mud, it's sure to keep the sticks out of all the passengers' faces and the mud from covering his family. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have put this on. Now storage on the General is pretty good. I mean, we've got a huge box out back. The glove box is pretty cavernous, but it's always nice to have just a little spot that you can toss the camera, the cell phone, or the first aid kit that you know it's not gonna rattle or shake out. There is a great long and deep storage tray on the General, but with most aggressive riding, your stuff will find its way out of there. Polaris has a tidy little zippered storage bag that fits in quite nicely and stays put. It has a semi-rigid front door and gives ample space for the stuff that you might need access to quickly when riding, or snacks for the kids. Lots and lots of snacks. Now, speaking of aggressive riding, I know Luke, and he's liable to find himself in some interesting situations while he's out with his wife and kids. And when he's out with his wife and kids, I think he'll probably try to impress them, and these plastic rockers are likely not to come back looking the same. So I'm giving them rock sliders because I don't want to be back in here showing y'all how to change out plastic rockers. The extreme rock sliders from Polaris are easy to install with the four lock and ride mounts. They go on quick and will, I repeat for Luke's benefit, will support the weight of this vehicle. I may or may not have tested this assumption a time or two already. These rock sliders are one and three quarter inch tube steel at 14 gauge thickness. And if you beat them up, they can be removed quickly and repainted to take on another season's abuse. Another part that'll take a whole lot of abuse is a rear bumper. And when you're wheeling a four-seater bus like this, objects in the mirror can be a whole lot closer than they appear. Made with the same tube steel as the sliders and installing just about as easily, this rear bumper is designed to stick out past the rear cargo box. So you hit steel before plastic. And I'm pretty certain it's gonna get hit a time or two on this trip. 
It also works well for a step up should you need to grab something out of a cooler in the back or get up into the box yourself. I know I'm making Luke out to be hard on equipment, and <laughs> the truth is, he kinda is, so I'm not done with adding protection to this rig just yet. You'll see little black plastic guards on some A-arms of side-by-sides. Those are not A-arm guards. These are A-arm guards. I'm putting them on both the front and back, and while the A-arms are already high clearance, I know that just means extra room before you hit something. And rocks, roots, stumps, yeah, those things are gonna find their way to meeting up with our nice blue painted suspension. So why not save it and also add the ability to slide over some of those objects with these simple to install low friction poly guards. I think we're looking pretty good at this point. I mean, this rig is pretty much ready to rock, but I can't help but think about the fact that at this time of the year, the sun sets a little bit earlier and there's always need for more light. And light there shall be, but with the Polaris Pulse system, it's way easier to install. Maybe I should say way one more time. Seriously, you just order the appropriate harness and click it into the pulse bar. Hook the other end of your light and install the switch. That is it. I'm using a pair of harnesses because I'm gonna set up Luke to light up the trail like midday with this 30 inch dual row Pro Armor LED light bar and two inch by two inch LED floodlight set up front. All of these Pro Armor lights are aluminum housed with a shatter resistant lens. They also throw huge light and feature the adjustable mounts to get it where you want it. With the light bar on the roof and the cubes on the bumper, I can give Luke a perfect view of the trail way, way ahead and also illuminate what may be hiding on the edge of the trail with the cubes. Both will feature an illuminated switch and the rugged durability you'd expect from Polaris and Pro Armor. On this camping trip, Luke and the family are gonna be staying out for a weekend, so I know that they're gonna need to keep food cold for at least a few nights. A 30 quart cooler will be sufficient, but this time, instead of doing a lock and ride cooler, I thought I'd hook them up with the Polaris North Star cooler. It looks like a Yeti, but holds ice for a minimum of 30 hours longer. It's got great plastic carry handles and also really smartly designed rope handles for carrying with two people or not needing to reach down so far, and it even has rubber feet to keep it put in the bed of the side-by-side, -side, deck of the boat, or just out on the dock or deck. Its two inch thick insulation is perfect for weekend trips, features an easy out drain plug, IGBC certified bear resistance, and the size is just right for heading out camping. When you go camping with a side-by-side, -side, there's some luxury items that you get to bring along. And Luke and the family are well equipped with this general four-seater and have loads of space for all of their own personal stuff as well. If you enjoyed this segment, make sure you hit that like button and definitely consider leaving us some comments. We always appreciate hearing from our fans. Also, make sure you subscribe because we have tons of new content coming up right here on Dirt Tracks.